A Grand Old Tree by Mary Newell de Palma. Once there was a grand old tree. This is a grand old tree. Who did this? Her roots sank deep into the earth, and her arms reached up high into the sky. What season do you think this is? Winter. Yeah, winter. She was home to many creatures. Birds nestled among her branches. Squirrels scurried through her leaves. Caterpillars and ladybugs crawled about. The grand old tree flowered. Do you know what season that is? Um, spring. Yeah. Good job. What are these, Madeline? Uh -huh. What is it? Ladybugs! Mm -hmm. oh, For fruit. Ooh. Cool. What kind of food is that? And sowed seeds. She had many children. They changed the landscape for miles around, perhaps even farther than the old tree knew. The grand old tree lived a long, long time. She basked in the sun, bathed in the rain, swayed in the breeze, and danced in the wind. She grew and shed. Many millions of leaves. At last, the grand old tree was very, very old. Her branches no longer swayed and danced, but cracked and snapped in the wind. What season is this? When the leaves come down. Finally, she fell and, snowy, and snow gently covered her. Okay, what season is this now? Winter. What's this, Madeline? Winter. Ho, ho, ho! Who says that on, the, on winter time? What's this, Madeline? Mm, squirrels. And this one? Oh, what shape is the moon? Who says ho, ho, ho in the winter? Santa Claus. The old tree died. She no longer flowered, bore fruit, or sowed seeds. But she was still home to many creatures. Raccoons nestled in her trunk, centipedes crawled along her branches, and lichen grew on her bark. The grand old tree slowly crumbled. She became part of the earth. Today, her, the roots of her grandchildren sink deep into this earth. Their arms reach high into the sky. They are home to many creatures. It came back again? A grand old tree.